you. I'm supplying a certain type of minimalism and conceptual rigor to a place which is expected to sit outside of all of that and engage in a less sophisticated way. Well, I don't know, I wrote that in the tube this morning. Um, I wish that I could be more directing and clear with you. Um, but I think overall the, the work will be accomplishing something. God, that sounds really bad, an artist. Like, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing, do I? Um, <sighs> We've got a month. We've got a month. I've noticed in a lot of other people's work that there's been a kind of big shift. Suddenly people have like gone, oh, here I am just making work and enjoying it and it's all great. And I feel a bit like, uh, what the fuck, why, how, how, how have you learnt to do that? Why is it not happening to me? These are paintings that I made a few months ago as a result of a residency in Beijing last year. These are Olympic mascots from Beijing. So they represent the face of the regime. Can Can. It became quite easy to critique the regime by using these characters because these are like the, the chintzy, smiley, happy, approachable, cuddly face of quite an, a nasty regime. This series of paintings is the first series of paintings that I've made for a long time that made any sense. Initially, this, the work that I'm making now was supposed to be a kind of, you know, next step from this work. But it hasn't worked out that way. Where can he go? I've, I've spent a long time over the past few weeks looking for, looking for kind of similar characters to those Olympic mascots that perhaps could be assembled in such a way that might begin to create some sort of narrative. Nothing's kind of... Um, uh, jumped out at me yet yeah, as being kind of either relevant or interesting even perhaps. I'm making paintings, it's not like I'm not doing anything. I don't know, I'm just, I just don't feel happy with anything that I've made um, yet. It's, it's, it, there's never a consensus. There's just competing ideologies, there's competing ideas of what good art is, what interesting art is, what might be critical art is. So you've got all these competing forces at play. The students are, have to be aware that they, uh, a work of art is an argument or it's a proposal of a position that's being put forward to the world. It, it, it's, it's all about the work, ultimately. I mean, the, you know, the rest, the rest is, the rest is, um, the rest is bullshit. What's the expression? Going postal or something? <laughs> you wipe out the whole, the whole place. It's a great space up here. So this is, this is roughly where I'm going to be ending up, is paint balls. One of the largest criticisms of my work at Goldsmith is, you know, it, it is, it's, it's far too literal. Um, that's something I've always seen personally as a strength in the work, is that it can be read by many people and not just the kind of art elite. Well, this is just some tests and basically that's a double hit. That's two paintballs. Mm -hmm. That's a single kind of thing. I want to try and understand what it is that the teachers are teaching and this is me trying to get the message over 
it, almost in their language, as it were. How good is your aim with this? Let's, let's try it. I mean, what I'm going to do is probably just trace it. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to do a shape, so I'm going to go... And just follow the line up kind of thing. I mean, that's what, that's what soldiers are taught anyway with a machine gun. If you can't hit the target there, yeah. then just start in front of you and just work it up. And you can actually watch the traces of the bullets. And you can go, all right, I'm over here a bit. So if you're not that great a shot, it doesn't particularly matter. You can get there eventually. The whole thing about this blues, can I pull this off? The fact that this is a whole new medium for me, it's a whole new thing. Yeah. Oh. There, there are always going to be people who can read an artwork just at a base level. Some guy, he's got a paintball gun and he shot it at this thing, and that's contemporary art. Contemporary art is so rubbish, mm. there's nothing that goes into it, there's no skill, there's no talent. Yeah, I hate contemporary true. art. So I think like the same with people who kind of might criticise my work, I just think they're not thinking hard enough. That, it's just all about confidence. It, it is, and that's really what you should have learned at your time at Goldsmiths, is the confidence to stand by. Mm. What it is you've done is your work. I'd heard you were having a bit of a crisis. Yes, an Alarama. <laughs> right. <laughs> Rather than crisis. So, but you were saying you're not very happy with it. Or rather, you were depressed that you'd finished it because yeah. it. Yeah. Because. It, it's not clear what it is anymore. No, and it's just not exciting enough. Oh. <laughs> Has the painting got a title? I don't know, maybe... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is that I'm not so sure about. Uh, are you attempting to use that as some sort of commentary on painting itself, perhaps? It didn't start out to be a painting about painting. <laughs> So I can't help but thinking that it's, it is an attempt, or it is a, a painting about painting as a source, some sort of glass castle. I don't think it's a terrible place to be, to be producing paintings that ask that question. And if you're aware that that's what the paintings are doing, you can clarify that question and you can heighten it so it's more explicit within the work. Yeah. So the paintings do become an even bigger question. You know, what is painting? Yes. Yeah. And then it could be very good paintings. It's how does art operate, it's a question, and for me, before going to Goldsmiths, you know, you look at the Turner Prize and you go, that is literally a pile of shite, you know, how is it art kind of thing, and, yeah, now I'm going into a bit of kind of abstract, Expressionism or post abstract expressionism with the shooting paintball at the military fabrics. Um, it, it's a weird thing for me because it, it, it means I have now been influenced by goldsmiths. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, we'll hopefully find out more today from the critics and see what, yeah, see what everybody has to say about it as a methodology, as a way of working. The seminar is meant to be um, a situation where the student presents work at which the rest of the group respond critically and constructively to the work that the student presents. The student two years ago came in drinking a bottle of wine and we don't normally have alcohol in seminars and then she got up on the table, lowered her shorts and did a big shit into um, a big um, glass bottle with a lot of grunting and groaning and stuff and then put a lid on the, on the bottle and sprayed it gold and then left the room. The students were very offended by this because it basically she had done a shit for them. So it was very shocking, but also people thought it was a great affront that they felt they were being treated like shit by her shitting for them. At the moment it's a brand new project. It's about, it's about me and my work and how virtually the whole length of time it goes with my work has been too literal. So this is a way of, of not being so.
you, it seems like you're going for the effect of like a violent, like a, a bullet kind of striking the camouflage, but also like since it is paintball, I'm and we're, like I'm very aware that that's a paintball. There's no real violence being sure. It's just a simulation of violence. Uh -huh. And does it have to be on camouflage? Um. No, it's, I, I, I. I mean, actually, you've only just done the first couple of splatters. Absolutely. So it's like absolutely. looking at the, it's like someone bringing um, a painting in and they've only made the first three marks on it. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. got it's got a sort of long way to go in how it could be developed. I think. For sure. Yeah. Otherwise, it just looks like um, a sort of harmless bit of fun, really. I feel I've started the journey now, so that's, for for me, that's a good thing. So to be doing this just before the final show at Goldsmiths is it's risky for sure. Um, but it, you know, life to a certain degree is about taking taking risks, and it's not a massive risk. <laughs> you know. I would like to keep it alive, yes, because um, as, as an artwork, it has a value. So I reckon it's more valuable alive than dead. So I would like to keep it alive, yes. I mean, I did go all the way to Spain to get it. This object could be worth... It's like the residue of somebody else's like a Turner Prize winner's um, process. So what kind of value does that embody? And if I take it, what does that mean? What's important for the work to actually work is that maybe a situation that I provoke is responded to. So if there's no response, if I didn't get uh, any you know, response from his gallery or from him and they didn't care, well then I have no project. I'm just checking to see if I have created any trouble. Um, so yesterday I emailed um, Simon Starling and his galleries to let them know um, that I'd robbed uh, his work from Spain. No, I don't have anything. Fuck. I don't have anything yet. I guess I just have to wait, you know? It might take a couple of days. It might take a couple of weeks. I don't have a couple of weeks. I've only got like, I've only really got a couple of days. I feel like the girl waiting for the fucking phone call. God. It's not that big. That's all right. Apparently it's the biggest space and it's causing people a lot of anxiety for some reason. And yeah, I'm not sure why. It's not that big a space. <laughs> 